Hey guys. If you're trying to clone yourself in After Effects, then this is the right tutorial for you. Okay, so here I am in After Effects. Um, if you want to download the footage that I used to make that little intro thing you just saw, um, you can click the link in the description. That'll take you to Mediafire, and you can just download the file from there. Um, okay, let's get started. So, import the file that you got from Mediafire, or you can use your own footage, obviously. Footage, obviously, blah. Drag it into your comp, and this is what we have. I walk on the screen, say that line, then later over here, let me turn that down. Um, I come in and say that line, and then jump up from the ground and say that line. Uh, it's what you have to do here is you're gonna duplicate the footage. So hold down Control and hit D, D, D. We're gonna do it four times. Um, now click on the bottom layer and do right click time freeze frame uh, we want just this first um, background layer uh, so that uh, this is gonna be the background for the image so that we, we can have the clips of me s uh, blend in to the background and anyway so we just basically what we just did was froze this video on that one frame so that's essentially just a picture now um, okay, so now click on uh, this one um, and turn the eye back on. I turned it off a second ago. You saw. So now we just need to drag this to where we want it. So let me see. Where I want it to start. Ah, oh, my computer's being slow. Right about there. Um, okay, that looks good. So then I go. Hey guys. Um, and then right here, turn on the uh, hit T for tr transparency and just drag that down temporarily and um, turn the eye back on and now just drag that over till we get to the spot where I walk in and I'm about to say my line, I turn and right there I'm starting to say it I'm not sure y you can do this more perfectly and make the audio match up um, well uh, when you do it but I'm just trying to go fast so uh, and then I can turn the opacity back up on that so we, we are actually I guess yeah okay and uh, so then just sort of okay blah 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 and I take the pen tool right here click it and then just sort of roughly go around um, actually that should be off the top because I walked in at the beginning and do that and that made if I click this button to solo it that made uh, I'm just I'm just saying keep only this part of that video and so I should actually do the same thing for the uh, this one the first one actually let, let me name these and hit enter to rename it and I'm gonna say left and then this one I'm gonna say right oops right um, and let me use the pen tool on the right one. Great. And again, if you solo that, you, uh, oopsie. Solo that one, you can see where I cut it. Uh, and then this is the one where I pop up from the back. So let me just zoom in until I stop talking here. Blah. After Effects, okay, good. Um, and so now I just gotta grab this one, and oh, turn the eye back on so I can see, and hit T, drag that down. And where do I pop up? Right about there. Okay. Um, so now, uh, hit Alt N bracket um, or begin bracket, and that will just keep that part, so we don't have the me walking in. And now turn the opacity back up to a hundred. 
and go to the part where I pop up and now we're just going to use the pen tool and click around me okay so here we have all three of me on the screen it's extremely rough obviously um, but starting to look somewhat okay so um, oh let me rename this middle okay so we're gonna take the left and drag that up and put it on top we're gonna put the right at the bottom and the middle in the middle um, and now we just need to do some tweaking uh, it's obviously the video clip is gonna end right here with me there so just go to the end of that and then just control A alt end bracket so that they all stop there um, and you can drag this in so that it'll only render to there okay so let's uh, click the right and try to make sure that mask worked well so let me see you can see everything you need to there uh, here if I solo it it'll go faster it's not really cutting off any uh, is that cutting off my hand a little bit okay so now hit M M M or yeah hit hit M three times to bring this up um, and under mask hit the stopwatch next to mask path that will let it um, change time so we're gonna keyframe this so uh, one keyframe there and then I say hi guys oops let me move that up and so now you can see that that's gonna move over time because we hit the stopwatch that's what that does uh, and then I just sort of stand there so once I put my hand down another keyframe there um, I can have this mask just move back in to about like that and hit um, turn uh, unsolo it and uh, under mask feather turn that up uh, you, you can hit this button to turn off the masks and turn the feather up to like 20 ish and that just sort of blends the edges because you see if I zoom in right here um, if I turn the feather off you can see this line right here but this just sort of blends it so that's good uh, you don't want to go too high though or I'll start turning transparent so 20 pixels is good um, and so now we're gonna take the left one and make, do the same thing there mm and let's see oh you see that it cuts my head off so we're gonna go back to the beginning click the stopwatch on mask path turn the path back on oops control Z two, one, two. Uh, okay so I walk in make sure I stay inside there okay that looks pretty good um, and now uh, for the middle one when I pop up right here this is cutting me off so I'm gonna make another mask so make sure left is highlighted and zoom in here uh, really really closely and take the pen tool and just sort of click uh, click and drag to do that and you can hold down alt to drag this back in and then let go of alt and just sort of go over this really closely because the more closely you do it the better it will look ah. okay that looks good and then just click 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 and close that up and then we need to set this to subtract to take it away um, and let's turn off the mask and see how that looks pretty good okay um, and let's see uh, oh yes we need to feather this mask mask one set that to like 20 okay yeah I'll stick with 20 
Um, and then mask two, we want to feather that a little bit. Like that. Okay. Um, and now let me just check that out. I'll preview it and we'll see how it looks. Oh, my hand here, that's something I'd want to fix. And I feathered this too much. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, let me turn the feathering on this... Oh, wow, 30? I didn't mean to set it to 30. Okay. And then uh, we need to fix his hand. Right, mask, and uh, turn this back on. <gasps> oh, 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 because it's not in right, it's on the middle. Because remember, I put a mask on that, so that's cutting my hand off. So we need to click mask path and just drag that over, I guess. Because yeah, we don't want that running into my hand. And then I pop up. And just make sure I stay in it and don't cover up. You can add another point on there. Great. Okay, so now we just need to feather this mask, and I believe we're done. Yeah, okay. So now I'll just render that out real fast and see what that looks like in quarter quality so that my computer will do it somewhat quickly. And remember, the audio is not going to be perfectly matched up because I didn't I didn't spend time trying to make it perfect. What you'd do if you wanted it to be perfect is... Um, just keep previewing it to line it up, or you could click um, the drop down and click audio and then uh, view the waveform, and then you could just line them up that way. So, this is the, the audio is going to be a bit rough, but anyway, we're going for the visual here. And I'm sure you don't want me to take the time to sync up the audio perfectly. So, then this would be a much longer tutorial. Okay, let's check it out. Hey guys. If you're trying to clone yourself in After Effects, then this is the right tutorial for you. So that's pretty much what you do. It's extremely easy, and uh, I hope this helped you out. Uh, if it helped you out, then go ahead and post uh, your video that you use this. You know, if, if you make a video that uses this effect that I taught you how to do, and I'm, I'm the reason that you learned how to do it, then post it as a video response. I'll check it out. I'll leave feedback on your video. Um, Please subscribe because I only have five subscribers right now, and that's a little bit embarrassing. Um, <laughs> and uh, also, I'm posting free pre-keyed video effects, so you don't even have to take out the background. You can just drag it into your footage, and it's ready to go. Um, and stock footage and all sorts of fun stuff like that coming up. Uh, not to mention more tutorials, obviously. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helped you out. Bye.